What's up guys, I'm Taylor at GoPowerSports.com. Today we're gonna do our MB200 build. We're gonna get this thing ready for a little off-road adventure we're doing with cars and cameras up in the mountains. So we're gonna do a tank, tires, sprocket, chain, handlebars, we're gonna do a stage one kit on the engine. Basically make this thing bulletproof and ready for some serious off-road riding. First thing we're going to do, we have already test fitted these parts to make sure they were going to bolt on. We're going to get these primered so that primer can dry and then we'll tear down the bike and start on the rest of it. We got these parts primered and hanging while they dry. We're going to tear this thing down. Hyperlapse. All right, now we got the bike pretty much torn down. All the pieces we're gonna take off that are not going back on are sitting over there. Now we're gonna take the tires off, front and rear. Put on the Scorpion knobby tires. A bigger rear sprocket and a different chain. So we won't be using the original front tire and wheel assembly. This is the front tire and wheel assembly that comes with our MB200 front brake kit. So we're going to take the disc off and then swap the tire.
So we are putting on the 60 tooth sprocket instead of the stock 46 tooth. This is gonna give us a little better climbing power when we're trying to go up and down hills. So the MB200 comes with a driver that has a bearing instead of a bushing. We're gonna replace that with one of our aftermarket drivers that has a bushing. So one of these jack shaft bearings was busted out. Sometimes from the factory, they will over tighten the jack shaft nut that holds on the driven. So if your bearing's not busted, just back that up a little bit and make sure your jack shaft is free. Before we put the chain on and set our tension for the rear axle, we're gonna go ahead and swap out the shocks. These are slightly longer than your stock shock. These are eight and seven eighths. These are 11 inches, center to center. These are some prototypes we have coming in. Expect these to be released here in a few months. Up next is our DID 420 chain. This is one of the best upgrades you can do for these bikes. The stock chain stretches a lot and it starts to get really weak. These are a pre-stretched chain, so basically when you set them, you don't have to do anything else to them except for chain loop. Okay, we got the chain on and adjusted. We've got the brake, brake bracket bolted down on the other side. So we're just gonna keep moving forward. Now we're at the engine, we're gonna take the tank off. We're gonna put on the super pipe, the new guard, the driver, and the bigger jet for the carburetor. This is our MB200 Superpipe, which is a full exhaust system. It's got your muffler right here on the back, built into the pipe. And we had this one chromed, which is a pretty sweet look. We already have a couple pipes that are chrome on the website. So this is one of the add-ons, or an item that you can buy for the MB200 off our website. It's the same heat shield as stock, but it's slotted for this pipe. We are now putting on the uh, Go Power Sports aftermarket driver. It is the one with the bronze bushing. Next up, we're gonna mount these Megamoto 212 front fenders. You can find them on our website at Go Power Sports. We're gonna to have to drill holes for these fenders. The nice thing about these, you can hang them a little lower in the back so it'll protect your engine from sling. Also, we're gonna take an adjustable wrench and flatten these out on the front and rear. So we got the two front holes drilled and they line up perfect. So we'll get these snug, mark the back hole and drill it. We really wanted to move the peg position on this build. So we cut off 
the front pegs up here those are already removed we are going to bolt this into the two rear engine bolts so we'll take these bolts out put in the longer ones this will bolt in right there and we'll put the pegs that we got off these front bars under here up we have our front brake kit this is the MB 200 front brake kit specifically designed for this mini bike Can you see the fog on my bubble? video we took a stock MB200 and turned it into this we've got the tank front brakes a um, little bit of stuff done to the engine stage one kit changed up the gearing 
um, for what we did on this trip we wouldn't change anything please let us know what y'all thought in the comments please like subscribe hopefully you enjoy this beautiful scenery and the video as much as we did how was that climb that's pretty good <laughs>